hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel you guys know what to do but you guys still don't do it so today this was not the plan but today i'm going to talk about sars yes s a r s whatever and i want to talk about it because not because not because it's trending but because it's something that is actually paining me like where something is paining you because even I've never had an experience with SARS before in my life, but I've heard of so many people, not personally do, I've heard of so many people who have had the worst experiences with them. Some people, many people have died in the hands of SARS, and SARS is supposed to be like an anti robbery squad. So I'm wondering how that is happening. So I have some screenshots here on my phone. I have some things that I'm going to read out to just basically tell you guys that these people they are not doing their job. They are doing the opposite of their job. They're supposed to protect me and I'm scared of the person that's supposed to protect me. I don't understand. So I'm going to start by reading um, what SARS is and stuff like that. And I'm also going to um, read some tweets on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter, but I was able to get some things. And I'm just going to share it with you guys because this thing is very painful. It, 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 it's just painful. So, I'm going to be reading. SARS is a branch of the Nigeria Police Force under the Force Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department. The squad deals with crimes associated with armed robbery, car snatching, kidnapping, cattle rustling, and crimes associated to firearms. Um, the special okay, this is the full meaning. The special anti-robbery squad was founded in 1992 by former police commissioner Simeon Danladi Midenda. The major reason SARS was con was formed was when I think this is Colonel. Yes, Colonel Rindam, a Nigerian army colonel, was killed by police officers at a checkpoint in Lagos. These are what, I mean, these are the things SARS is supposed to prevent, but they are not doing that. Rather, they see you using an iPhone or a very good phone. They decide, okay, this is the person that we're going to use to eat today. They, um... They, they get to you, they ask you, oh, if you're using an iPhone, your iCloud, open this, open that, where are your WhatsApp messages, where are your this and that. Even when they find no evidence that you are a criminal or that you are a fraudster or you are a 419, they still collect your ATM card, escort you to the ATM points and collect the money that is in your account. Please tell me, is that your work? I don't understand. What's that supposed to be preventing? You are the one that is not, you are not... The person is supposed to be protecting from arm robbers is now the arm robber himself. I don't understand, really. I don't know. Some some people don't they don't behave like human beings. How will you treat somebody like that? She you're not even I don't understand. I I really don't understand. And now the youths are protesting. You are busy telling me I should have respect for my elders. If the elders were doing something respectable, I won't disrespect them. You understand what I'm saying? I don't... There are so many things I don't understand in this country. And we decide to speak up for this one thing. We don't have lights. We don't have food. There's no electricity. There's no good education. There's no good There's no good water. There's nothing that is good in this country. And I decide to speak up because they are killing me. They are basically killing me. And I speak up. I are telling me to shut up. I'm representing an elder. Elders, respect yourself. If you respect yourself, we respect you too. Respect doesn't mean you should be stepping on me, stepping on me several times and I should keep sure because I'm respecting you. I do I think I'm shouting, but this thing is 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 serious. It's very serious and I don't even know. We don't need SAS. Even the police, they have not finished doing their own work. Yeah, I didn't I'm going to be reading some tweets, some bad experiences people have had from SARS or with SARS. So I'm going to start now. So this is from um, Twitter. This is Dr. Kelechi Okoro. I was once harassed by SARS because they found packs of condom in my bag. Even after explaining that I am a doctor and I attended a family planning program that day. They let me go because I had an asthma attack. Thankfully, my friend got there in time. Imagine if she didn't have an asthma attack. They would have collected... They would have just collected all the money in her accounts. 
And you know, if you are even trying to resist them and be like, I have my rights, you can't collect money from me, I have not done anything, they will beat you up. They will beat you up, they will lock you in a cell, and at the end of the day, your parents will be the one going to look for money. I'm going to read another um, tweet. Main problem started when young people started making legitimate money outside of the walls of 9 to 5 offices. A lot of old people still don't understand it. There is resentment and jealousy. That's from Ayobami Ayobami. Then there's also one, okay, from Dolakbo Ibukun on Twitter. It says, I just left Agodi Correction Prison. The image I went to see has been rem remanded since July 2018, thanks to SARS. He was randomly picked up uh, picked up 7 a.m. at Mokola, two years plus, languishing away for an offense he knows nothing about. Imagine this type of person. You have put a stop to their life. If the person was in school, if the person has a family, family probably have moved on and believe, ah, this person cannot even come out of where they are. I don't, I don't understand. They are, paying you, they are paying you a certain amount of money to do a job, and you are doing exact opposite of that. You are killing people. You are killing people without, without good reason. You go to a place, there is um, probably, you discover oh, there are people doing for one night here. And people who are around there, you pack them among them. They, are, they don't... I don't, I don't understand. I haven't committed a crime. You don't even have evidence I've committed a crime. And you still arrest me. You... You trample on my human rights. I don't understand. I'm still going to read more. Um, I'm sorry. I need to go to my browser. Because I downloaded some things that I wanted to read. So I'm going to read some of those things out. Okay. In no particular order though. So this is from Stairs Business. This person is Abdul, Abdul, Abdul Karim. I would prefer to be attacked by armed robbers than to encounter SARS officers. So I'm going to read part of the article. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul Karim encountered officers of Nigeria's special anti rob This anti-robbery squad I'm hearing is so... A month ago in Lagos, he and two friends were on their way home around Idi Araba, Suruleri. Suru when officers turned up in a minibus and arrested them. It was around 10 p.m. I stopped at a store opposite my house with two friends to pick up bread for breakfast the next morning. Is that a crime? Is that a crime? The officers appeared out of nowhere and dragged us into their van without telling us what the offense was. Is that how to arrest a human being? The officers took them along with 12 others to area D police station in Mushin and threw them in a cell. On our way to the police station, the officers kept picking up random people, throwing them into the van. Anyone that asked questions got slapped on top of my life. The life that you didn't give me. Um, let me continue. They seized our phones and personal belongings and refused to tell us anything. I had to sleep in the cell that night with the others that were picked up. It was a bad experience. Abdul and his friends were released in the morning after paying the officers 20,000 naira. They laughed about what they had done in the morning like it was a joke. They told us it was normal. I think these people, they are sounding... Let me not insult them. But they don't sound okay upstairs. So this is a normal thing to maltreat somebody. Don't you... Well, you know, the people inflicting this pain cannot take the pain themselves. This is just abuse of power. I swear, this is abuse of power. And I want to try and read the tweet, the one that um, Whiskey made. I don't know if it's going to... The one that Whiskey made and the person... The one that, uh, I'm not sure if I can get it. The one that Whiskey made that somebody was still talking about respect. Respect, they will kill us on top of this respect. They will kill us. They will kill us. That's what's going to happen. I'm sorry, I can't find, I can't find it. 
just give me oh good let me try and search it because i'm not as i said i'm not on twitter and um let me pause it while i look for it actually so guys i found the um kind of story around um we keep um, talking to um our, our our president so i'm going to read that so this is between um, Whiskey, Blackface, and Buari, I guess. So um, Whiskey made this remark after um, our president um, was um, telling Trump sorry for, I think maybe he coughed or something like that. So I'm going to read what Whiskey said. Donald Trump is not your business, old man. Police slash SARS are still killing Nigeria youth on a daily basis. Do something. Nothing concerns you for America. Face your country, the pop star wrote. So responding to Whiskey's remarks, they didn't ask him who. Blackface now said, why don't you face your music, small man? I understand why that is difficult because it doesn't have any substance. No B, every verified account, the person name on top, the control. So it's possible that at Whiskey Dial account is being handled by an agent because I don't believe Whiskey is that dumb to insult his father or his father's mate. Um, I don't believe Whiskey insulted our president. He said, old man, if I'm describing somebody, I can't say, oh, you mean that old man? It's not an insult, it's a description. What do they call that in English? They are qualifying him, the old, tall, lean, light skin man is all description so and and um this disrespect thing i don't even understand most people if you don't do anything that um that demands disrespect they won't disrespect you. but when you start showing that the age is not matching with you know what you are saying people can get rude and disrespectful to you so blah 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 and someone now said blackface trying to trend too and we're basically bashing um blackface and stuff like that but this matter was really paining me so i, I just decided to do the video because you know sometimes when something kind of dies down in your mind you can't really like all the things that is vexing you you can't really say them out so um i'm for the motion of ending sars because they are not they are not adding any value to our lives i've not i don't i'm sure they will have done some good jobs here and there but i've not heard of it and predominantly what i mostly hear of is them harassing people and there was even one story of them detaining a lady and as they detained her in the cell they raped her and she died and stuff like that there was even one about them shooting somebody in the mouth and the bullet going through the cheeks everything everything is just it's not good reports and honestly we don't need them people have been protesting and i can't protest because where am i living my parents, <laughs> people keep complaining about Nigeria, but they are not ready to take the actions to actually improve improve Nigeria. And you know what? Yesterday when I started hearing of it, I, I felt I felt useless in the sense that I felt like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. I, there was nothing I could do to show support for the people who were protesting. I couldn't do anything. So I just went on my Instagram and I just put answers and i put exclamation exclamation and all of a sudden i felt like shakira you, you have done something you have shown support so if us that we are staying at home the only thing we can do is to talk about it on twitter social media let's do that keeping quiet is actually a sign of support if you guys get what i mean and since i have this platform What's the use of the platform if I can express myself freely and not be scared that somebody's going to come and carry me in my house and stuff like that? So I'm go I'm still going to continue reading some tweets. This is by um, Amaka. I can't really pronounce the name. Trump coughed. Our president was quick to offer his condolence. His citizens have been crying for 
Lord knows how long and where is he? This is another one. This is not from Twitter though. I think a lot of these proverbs exist to protect the egos of Nigerian elders because why would you need to remind people to respect you if you are doing respectable things? I love this tweet. The older generation are a huge disgrace to this nation, spoils this nation and keep blaming it on the youth when, so far, only the youth is picking up and taking action. Tell an older person about what's happening and they will tell you not to wear dreads. Now, I totally agree with this person. Sometimes you tell them something is going on and they are telling you about your dressing, the way you look. And you begin to wonder how does this, this relates to how I'm being treated? I actually don't understand. It's like now this tweet really got me. It's not is that it's not about SARS, but it's about SARS, that kind of thing. It says my father just said it's idleness that's making my brother and I go for the end SARS protest. And I'm just wondering how this older generation convinced us that we are the problem. And I can't imagine, I'm living under my parents' roof, that's very obvious. And I kind of understand what this person is saying because I know if I were to tell any of my parents I'm going for a protest to end SARS, they would probably tell me, it doesn't concern you, do you want to go and die, has it ever happened to you, you are too young for this, blah 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 blah. And I understand they are saying this from a point of um, they are scared and stuff. But it doesn't work that way. If nobody is ready to stand up to them, this thing is just going to continue to drag on. And I can't imagine somebody's father actually saying this. Because we keep saying we are the leaders of tomorrow. They have been saying the leaders of tomorrow since before I was even born. And the people before us are still ruling us. So when are we going to be the leaders of tomorrow? when our minds have already been corrupted to behave like them that's probably when they want us to be the leaders of tomorrow and so that we'll behave exactly like them so as i've done this video i feel a huge sense of relief and i feel i've contributed something no matter how tiny it is even if it's just like a molecule is that is that the smallest thing i think it's an atom but i'm happy i've done this video and I believe I have done my part in the NSAS protest and um, I hope they actually eliminate SARS because we honestly don't need them. The ones who are there already, the police, they are not even doing their jobs. We are in, they are just bringing in more people to come and frustrate us. And let's just try and share this on social media platforms and hopefully they listen to us. Hopefully they listen to us. So I'll see you guys in my next video.